We've sort of been wondering what the hell happened to Elon Musk, who seems to have launched himself completely into MAGA world, fighting what he has described as the woke mind virus. We seem to maybe have figured it out in a completely bonkers off the wall interview with Jordan B. Peterson. Elon Musk said that his son is dead and was killed by the woke mind virus. Now, we would laugh if this weren't so tragic, because what Elon seems to be talking about is that uh, one of his uh, male biological kids is trans and that the transition sort of explains why Elon has apparently lost his mind politically and also is saying that his son died and was taken by the woke mind virus. This is tragic stuff, not a supportive father, that's for sure. But it might be some insight into what has happened to Elon Musk. Take a listen to this disturbing, disturbing uh, couple minutes of video. It happened to one of my my older boys um, uh, where I was. Um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Now, I want to stop right there. This is supposedly one of the biggest geniuses the world has ever known. And he was tricked with some paperwork because covid was confusing. It's already completely whacked, but let's continue. Uh, this is before I had really any understanding of what was going on and we had COVID going on and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and, um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if, if he that was a That was a lie right from the outset. Incredibly evil. And I agree with you that the people that have been promoting this should go to prison. That's so I was, I was tricked into doing this. Um, and, uh, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I, All right. I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because. Uh, I, by the way, uh, puberty blockers are not sterilization drugs. This is so crazy, but I'm trying to kind of keep the narrative going here. Your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead, He's killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I can't imagine what that would be like. And then Jordan Peterson, of course, also on the verge of tears, which is sort of a necessary element of any interview like this. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and there's lots of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty and lots of demolished kids. Yes. Yeah, so, well, that's a good that's a good reason to be the final straw. All right, so let's. So I vowed to destroy the mind, the woke mind virus after that. And we're making some progress. Join the club. Yeah. Join the club. Um, this is whacked. This, um, I mean, <laughs> wow, wow. Now there's a few different things here. Elon Musk's reaction when a child is struggling with something doesn't sound like a particularly useful reaction. He says he was tricked by doctors. But as far as we know, Elon Musk's now daughter doesn't have transition regret. So in what way was it a trick? Because from what it sounds like it is being said, Elon Musk's daughter is satisfied with the decision uh, to transition. And Elon is the one who's saying it's tantamount to being dead. It's the same as if as as if my child were dead. Now, Elon then followed this up with a tweet where he said, quote, Xavier was born gay and slightly autistic, two attributes that contribute to gender dysphoria. I knew that from when he was about four years old and he would pick out clothes for me to wear like a jacket and tell me it was fabulous, as well as his love of musicals and theater. But he was not a girl. There is there is so much going on here that we couldn't possibly unpack it. But 
we have a political dynamic to this, which is that Elon Musk moved his business to Texas businesses to Texas is kind of cavorting with the right wing Texas governor and seems to have been sucked into this right wing pipeline. He regularly says that they need to destroy what he considers to be the woke mind virus and will be donating forty five million dollars a month to Donald Trump between now and the election. And we've been wondering what the hell happened here. We're getting an answer. We're getting an answer. And what seems to have happened is that having a trans child played a major, I can't say it's the only, but played a major, major role in sending Elon Musk uh, into this spiral. So it's a sad thing to see also because kids need their parents. And it sounds like Elon is saying his own child is now dead to him because of this transition. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff and tragically, tragically sad. Data brokers are constantly gathering vast amounts of information about your online activities, address, phone number, email, financial details, even political affiliations. Anyone, including your ex or your boss, can easily find your personal information on public data search sites. They sell this data to other companies, the FBI and NSA, even buy this data in bulk to monitor Americans without a warrant. These data set lists are also where scammers and spammers get your information to send, call, text and email you. But you can stop them. Our sponsor Incogni sends data removal requests to data brokers who are legally required to comply. If any information stays online, Incogni will follow up and make sure that it's removed and they keep you updated every step of the way. So you will know when your data has been removed, saves you hundreds of hours of work. Almost no one could do this on their own. If you have any other responsibilities in your life, I use Incogni myself and what they're able to accomplish and quickly is impressive. Go to Incogni.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman for 60% off. The link is below.